Hello and welcome to another custom app update and I'm quite happy because well look around there's no snow anymore the swamp biome is fixed, there's no ugly grass awful water they are gone the trees are still here but I can turn it into like this dark wood here, what do you call them, pine trees yes, you can turn them into that and also remove some pools of water because it looks like a swamp biome with these small pools of water around compared to this these hills here and everything it's very flat here actually and that is because it's a swamp so I may be able to change that but we'll see what we're going to do and everything's going late very good right now school is going good and going well and also Minecraft because what I did here was um, I used a program called NBT Edit. I will put it in the description. And what I did was changing this world into a. Well, I'm not sh exactly sure what I did, but I'd, it sort of made it think that this is a flat world and the flat worlds don't have biomes in the same way. So everything is now the same like grassy biome, plains, or whatever it is. I don't know. Now everything is that, so doesn't have a problem with snow or s swamp biomes anymore. And the desert that was over here is now actually not a desert, so if I put grass it will be just like this. And that's good. And let's... Well, I built this bridge as you can see. I did show you some of the bridge before I believe, but this time I made this tower as well. So people that wanted to go in and out maybe of this land here had to go through control here so this tower is sort of protective for this land because this land is possessed by some kind of disease or something <laughs> I'm not sure it's not dried out which it does look like but uh, it has these pools of water so it don't actually is I have removed some of the pools because they look awful. This one looks kind of weird. I like some of them though. That one is very nice. We'll see what I'm going to do about that. Uh, you can see that the dirt is much darker because I tried to fix something in the texture pack and then I screwed it up so now it looks even more, <laughs> even worse than before. So it's very dark. But I will fix that. That's easy to fix. Hmm. And I start using gravel here to lead a path further here. And here's a little house that I made and I <laughs> destroyed, so it's not finished. I need more details because it's not good enough yet, I think. But you can see it's a nice <laughs> destroyed house. You can see sort of the floor supposed to be here, but there's sort of like a hole down here, some planks laying here. There's a chicken swimming here. <laughs> okay. So I will continue to making these houses because it used to be a kingdom with a lot of houses, farms. This is supposed to be some kind of small farm you can see. Maybe they had animals in this fence, fenced area there. So that's supposed to be a lot of farmland that is now destroyed. And when it comes to this bridge, I did actually make this house first. And it's not a very good house. It was supposed to like have archers up here to shoot down there if needed. And some way of controlling them down here. But they're just awful. How are they supposed to control them down here? They can just run off. And there's no way to like, fence them off and have some kind of control system down here this is so I found out that what they would maybe use in medieval times or something they would use like towers with gates where they opened and closed the gate for visitors but the problem is this is <laughs> wow is this is this uh, the problem with the tower or the bridge actually is that it would be common to have two towers, one on each side, but 
this this bridge is so small that it would look weird when it, it we it would be kind of all killed just on this little bridge here so I'm not sure having one in the middle would maybe look weird yeah I don't know or I oh that would be kind of cool if I had a tower here but it was actually destroyed because this whole area is supposed to be destroyed uh, so it sort of felt into it into the water here so we have ruins of the other tower here and the other tower that is still in use is still intact that might be something I'm gonna do well I'm always open for suggestions so I'm just gonna cruise around here just showing you the area now as I I finally got rid of the snow now so some logs here wrapped up with well it's supposed to be ropes or something but we don't have that in Minecraft so I used rails looks kinda cool uh, and there's not a lot of changes unless yeah it's a big it's a big uh, change when it comes to biome but I haven't built a lot but I am working on something new because I'm gonna make some kind of dungeon or uh, something that uh, yeah some kind of dungeon I'm not sure where you have to go down and fight mobs and do puzzles or whatever the challenge going to be but you have to do that and I, f I finally found out some of the ideas so that will be a part of the main storyline actually I have made one <laughs> one side quest sort of for this uh, for this map but I haven't started any in any way on the actual storyline but I've got some more ideas now so that is at least good and there's also this new 1.2 update isn't it that is there are some uh, new release or pre-release or something I don't show what they call it but with this new jungle biomes that's kind of cool and also they have dispenser that can shoot out the eggs as you can see my eggs are invisible so you can't see them <coughs> oh God, that's <laughs> Yeah, but the eggs can now, you, you can sh shoot them out of the dispenser. That is what they're planning on having in the next update, so that's really nice. Because then I can connect everything to redstone inside the dungeon and they can, like, spawn a creeper behind the player or something. That's kind of evil, but you can do it now, so that's interesting. And except that, I think I will be uploading a either it's one more part or it's an two more parts of the fountain of immortality gameplay let's play is better word and i like that i thought that custom map was really good so i hope you <laughs> uh, don't care about my cheating because i start cheating really much in the beginning but after a while i did get better at things so and i do like uh, playing custom maps because then I act more natural than now because now I'm trying to tell something I'm trying to inform you of something that I don't know anything about okay maybe a little bit but I'm not very good at speaking about what I made but anyway I hope you enjoyed the oh shit well I hope you enjoyed this custom map update and hope you like the new biome change here so thank you for watching and goodbye